Jana, welcome. It's good to see you. We are now in year three, entering year three of a pandemic. Have our priorities changed when it comes to mass transit and transportation? Do you see permanent changes uh, in terms of transportation in the region due to what we've seen over the last few years? I think our priorities um, continue to be the same, and that is mobility. Mobility of everybody in our state and mobility of everybody in our region. And that mobility being equitable, safe, and fiscally stable. But I think what the pandemic did was highlight um, the importance of focusing on mobility and also illustrating just how far off the mark we are in achieving those goals. So give me an example when you say we're off the mark, what's not working in the state? Let's look at the structure of our public transit service. Uh, it's really focused um, primarily around the nine to five rail commuter. We saw when Governor Murphy had the uh, initial lockdown orders that uh, rail ridership, for example, into the city plummeted uh, to 90 percent of pre-pandemic levels. But if you looked at intra-city bus, which just happens to be um, where New Jersey Transit sees most of its ridership, that did not fall as much. And intra-city bus is um, the services for those who are transit dependent. Um, it's not simply just getting to work, but meeting everyday mobility needs. And it highlighted the different, um, the different customers and the importance that public transportation plays in the role of every, everyday lives, um, especially those who live in low-income communities who also are often um, uh, BIPOC communities. So what, in your view, has to change? How do we fix this problem? And will the fact that we're getting some federal infrastructure dollars, will that benefit? Prioritizing the investments is really we're going to see the improvements. Um, New Jersey Transit, um, it, talking about what we also saw during the pandemic, was highlighting the vulnerabilities of the agency um, with, its, with its fiscal um, with this fiscal solvency. Uh, New Jersey Transit relies heavily on um, fares for its operating budget, uh, more so than other states do. So when it took the hit, it really took the hit on, on it, the entire agency. So I think what we need to do is looking to restore solvency and having a dedicated funding for operating moving forward. But also need to look at the health impacts um, of the way we are prioritizing our transportation. If you notice during, you know, during COVID, those who were most vulnerable who had comorbidities were those who had chronic respiratory illnesses. Um, transportation is the leading cause of greenhouse gas emissions and also uh, in communities that have um, uh, congestion and are built near highways, residents often have these illnesses and they were more susceptible um, to COVID and run the risk of, of dying from COVID. So that's another huge um, priority that we're, we're failing to meet is just understanding the health impacts of our transportation investments and policies. A lot of work still to be done, Jana. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. Yes, no problem. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.